Blessings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Pastor Kinney, and I'm joined by Pastor Blonsky to give you an update on the national emergency declared by the government of the United States last week. The leadership of St. Matthew Lutheran Church and Early Childhood Center have examined all the new information that has been released over the last several days and have decided to suspend various aspects of public ministry through this congregation. Our Early Childhood Center will be suspending operations on the campus until March 30th. Our teacher, Linda, will continue to be in virtual contact with the students and their families. She will be taking virtual walks, leading virtual lessons, and even more during this time. Our public worship services will also be suspended until March 30th, which means that the campus will be closed to worship on Wednesday, March 18th, and March 25th, and on Saturdays and Sundays, March 21st and 22nd, March 28th and 29th. All Bible studies and classes are also suspended until March 30th. Having said that, however, we have been blessed with the technology to record and broadcast worship services via the internet. It is our intention to have a midweek Lenten service broadcast on Facebook, YouTube, and on our website at the scheduled time on Wednesday, March 18, and March 25 at 7 o'clock p.m., and then made available on demand after that. There will also be a weekend classical worship service available to participants on Facebook, YouTube, and our website starting at 5.30 on Saturday, March 21st, and then another service on Saturday, March 28th. A service folder for each of those services will also be available on our website for you to use. There are links to our Facebook page and YouTube channel at our website at www.stmatts.net. These are unprecedented times in which we find ourselves but as has been said previously, this virus and the subsequent national emergency did not take God by surprise. In fact, we believe that God has called each one of us in the church to be at this place with the gifts he has provided for such a time as this. And in spite of the fear that many people are feeling, we share with you this incredible message from God. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. For as we share abundantly in Christ's sufferings, so through Christ we share abundantly in comfort too. Let us pray with you right now. Look mercifully, O Lord, we implore you, on the affliction of your people. Let not our sin destroy us, nor hopelessness overwhelm us, but let your boundless mercy save us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If you need to contact the church, please give us a call or send us an email. Our contact information is on our website, and we will respond as we are able. Keep looking to the Lord, your God, and keep looking out for each other. And may God richly bless and keep you in his care. Amen.